It's time now for perspective. For every person and family forced to flee their homes because of war, poverty and oppression, leaving is the end of a difficult journey, but it's also the start of another one. From the struggle to secure asylum in a safe country to the fight to secure decent education for children, refugees and internally displaced people are among the world's most vulnerable populations. And they certainly have a champion in my guest today, Pulitzer Prize winning photographer Mohamed Mohizan, founder of a Dutch non profit organization called the Everyday Refugees Foundation. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us today on France 24. Could you start by telling me what the key goal is when you founded the Everyday Refugees Foundation? What did you hope to achieve? Thank you very much for having me. Um, technically, I'm a photographer who has been traveling the world for the last 20 years. And among my journey, I realized there is a lot that I can do than just being the messenger. Um, and it all started in 2015 when I stood in the shores of the Greek island of Lesbos, where thousands and thousands of people fled home and poverty in search for a new safe place. At the beginning, I wanted to spread more awareness, but then I realized there is much more that I can do than just spreading awareness, is bringing an actual help. And technically today, the foundation managed to help thousands of people in different parts of the world simply through art, photography. And I mean, you mentioned it just there, photography is still at the heart of what you do. Why do you think photography is such a powerful medium when it comes to, to educating people about the plight of refugees? Technically, these are not just only pictures. These are messages, voices, and testimonies. And there is no better way to tell a story than a picture. We technically document things and put it out for the people, and we put it for the future, for the coming generations, as picture speaks thousands of words. And it's a documentation. If something happens and never been documented, it's like it's never occurred. And that's the power of photography. Now, one of your stated goals is to raise public awareness of the plight of refugees. Why is that element so key to your work? I mean, we live in a period everybody is busy in different things, um, individuality. And simply when I, when I share these images from, from the fields and through social media, spread it to the world, and they bring it in front of people's faces, they technically connect to the subjects. I don't only just take pictures, I always dig into backgrounds, into names, into hopes and memories, so people can recognize this picture and humanize the people behind the word refugees, as behind this word, there are humans who were forced to leave their homes. And if you just take a moment and look through these, uh, these images and these informations, you will feel something and you will realize it's not just numbers and words, refugees, it's people. And your photographs really do show a huge range of human experience. Of course, there is despair, uh, there's hunger, there's poverty. There's also kids playing, there's also moments of joy. Was that or is that important to what you do and why? Um, for me, I personally believe that children are the real victims of conflict. Children all over the world share the same things in common. They just seek fun and joy and happiness, no matter where they are from. So by, sh by raising their voice, by sharing their images, I connect people. It's like a smile in the middle of the rubble. I always travel to countries that share the conflicts in common, but if the news is right in front of me, I just flip around to look for a moment, for a hope, amid conflict and hope is all what we've got and that's what i believe i mean we should never stop hoping at this picture just simply the voice of hopeful children from unfortunate part of the world address to people in different parts of the world and that hope does come in stark contrast to some of the the settings you show us in your photos. There's one uh, project uh, entitled Cells for Refugees uh, that I found particularly uh, striking. Can you just tell me about those photographs, uh, how, you, uh, how you met these people and, and the lives that they're living uh, in, uh, if I'm correct, a place that used to be a prison in Amsterdam? That's true. I mean, it all started, as I mentioned, in 2015, and there was some rumors that in the Netherlands they're housing the refugees in former prisons. So it was important for me to investigate and, and document and show that 
So after uh, a quiet uh, chances of communicating, I managed to get an access to these former prisons. And I spent quite time, I spent almost a year, I mean, month through the years, visiting in and out, because there is no better way to tell a story than becoming part of this story. So I had to spend a lot of time in these prisons. And what amazed me while working in these former prisons, that people didn't feel they are prisons, because people just had one, one mission, is be safe, is provide their families with a healthy environment, etc. Um, the crime rate in the Netherlands is low, so these prisons were used as shelters. So it became s cells for refugees. There were so many stories amid uh, these people who were sheltered in the refugees. And this is the importance of what we do. If we don't document these stories, nobody will understand that there was a doctor, there was a chemist, there was a teacher behind the word refugees. And I simply do that through my photographs. And you clearly care very deeply for your subject. I'm interested, do you ever feel an ethical tension between your job as a, a photojournalist, um, dispassionately uh, or supposedly dispassionately recording what you see, and your work as an, as an advocate for these people? I mean, we, we don't just pass by and take pictures. I spend time, I invest, I get to know the people. I aim to become part of their landscapes and simply be invisible to earn their trust. The trust is something you don't buy yourself, you, you earn. And by, by spending time, you'll be able really to show a window into the people's daily life. You know, and, and pictures, as I mentioned, we don't just pass by. It's, it takes a lot of energy, and it's important to portray people with pride and respect and show the credible side of the story. Integrity is so important, and that's the power of photojournalism. I don't personally get involved. However, this is where the foundation comes in, and this is why I decided to create the foundation, that I just don't want to be the messenger. I want it to be way more than that and make a real difference and remain the person who I am as a photojournalist. Mohamed Mahizan, we're going to have to leave it there. Mohamed Mahizan, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, founder of uh, Dutch non-profit organization Everyday Refugees Foundation, Mohamed Mahizan, speaking to us just there. Thank you.